one of the things that, that came up was just the one day okay. principle to make sure you guys do a better job of that. How much of a focus has that been this week? It's always a huge focus. That's why I think, you know, for the last couple of years we've been, uh, we've been doing very well with it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's something that is mentioned and that we have to tighten up on, but the standard remains the same. And just last week, it just didn't show in the game. But uh, this week, you know, we're playing a show of difference now. So what was the film study like? Because you're celebrating all the turnovers and the defensive TDs, and then Manny's probably showing you this and this and this and this to work on. Well, yeah, the celebration for the game is, is, is brief. Not the understated, but so that the celebration at the end of the season can be bigger. Zach, how much interest did you have in uh, entering the Florida State having you, and then also you and, and them when you were in the well, my mom went to Florida State, so she was always in my ear about it at first, and, and I made her a Miami fan. Um, but, you know, Florida State was, another, you know, all, the, all three of the Florida schools were inter interested in me. Um, you know, I can't really say exactly how much, uh, truthfully and honestly. Everybody tells a good story, but, you know, Miami's where I ended up at. Did you consider them? Did you, were, were they on your radar early or at any point? I mean, I took a visit there, but all my options were open. You know, I, I really considered every school that I could, and I didn't want to sell myself short, but, you know, again, Miami was a place for me. So how'd you convince mom? I convinced mom. My dad's from Miami, so I guess he'd been doing, you know, he's been uh, loosening the jar for for all, all those years. But, you know, I, I guess when, when, she, when I made my decision, she just, you know, she stuck with me. So what, what does this game mean to you? Got a lot. I mean, it's huge. And, you know, we know that the history of the game is so huge. Um, we know that we haven't won at home against FSU, I think, since 2004. Um, so, you know, that's something that we have to, we can't keep you know, repeating those those kinds of mistakes. Uh, Miami, we're back to where we should be, or getting back to where we should be, and that has to show when we play FSU especially. Zach, do you put down, downplay the critics who say this is a down year for FSU and, and the troubles they're having? FSU comes to our house, they want to play us like 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 they're winning the championship that year. You know, every every game that, that FSU plays Miami, no matter where the team, the two teams stand, it's, it's a battle, it's a war. Um, so I think it's going to be the same really every year. Uh, we have to strap it up just like they do. You got to go out there and hit just like they do. When you look at the way this team has been able to get tackles for loss, and you see the, the big numbers you're putting up, what do you think when you see those big numbers, and, and why are you getting so many? I mean, it's just one of the reasons that we all have our, so much faith in our coaches because they tell us literally, you know, I, if Diaz really wanted to, I'm sure he could, he could he could calculate exactly how many we expect to have, and he'd be off by maybe one or two by the end of the game. You know, he's just really calculating. He knows what he's doing, and when it shows in, in, on the field, um, it just restores our faith in our coaches that much. And you guys take a lot of Last question for Zach. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. Thank you, Zach. Thanks, Zach. Thank you.